I've been involved with the Auburn Border Rescue Squad. 40 years and most of that time as a diver, um, seeing all aspects of diving for drowning victims in the Murray. I always say it doesn't matter how well you know the river, even myself, you always respect it. You cannot take it for granted. So this section of the river is such a beautiful area, uh, nice sandy foreshore, um, unfortunately there's strong current, there's undercurrent, and it's such a beautiful area, but in this... The tourists love it, don't they? Yeah, they certainly do. And just in this short section of river, there's been a drowning, we've picked bodies up from here. Two, three, four, and that's five just up further around that grassy bank. It's such a beautiful day and in summer it's so tranquil, so beautiful, but yet so dangerous. It's, um, it's why this message of prevention and education of people, you know, come and enjoy the river, but um, come and enjoy the river, but have respect for the river. If you can see how that river's boiling there, there's undercurrent in there, the snags. And, and look, it's, it's exactly one of the hazards that it has on more than one occasion caused a drowning. The current in many places isn't predictable. It, it, it generally flows this way, but in certain areas of the river, it'll actually flow backwards. One of the issues we, uh, we face with our diving is the, is the lack of visibility in the river, and there'd be nothing nicer than to be able to take some underwater footage of, uh, of what the river's like, but the reality of it is you wouldn't see anything. If we've been doing it for almost 40 years now and uh, I find frustrating is that so many of them are avoidable. It's, um, it's sometimes a combination of alcohol, it's sometimes a combination of lack of respect, uh, un unsupervised children and uh, children are obviously the hardest, the hardest dive you can ever have. Um, and we've seen it, we've seen parents that have expected a four-year-old child to be supervised by a seven-year-old. One of the most, I suppose one of the messages I try and get across in my school presentations recently has been, if you get into trouble in the river, don't panic. And if there's one take home message for young people and adults, if you're caught in this current as it's strong now, and you try and swim to the bank, you will struggle to make it. All you want to do is keep your head up. You can see how the river bends around. If you've got the common sense and nasty to keep your, not panic, keep your head up, you'll come against a snag and you'll be You'll be right. Stuart and I have had a number of drownings where people have drowned in almost water you can stand in, and uh, this is the avoidable nature of the of the, uh, the task at hand. Well, if you don't respect the river, the ultimate price you pay is losing your life. Please respect the river. Take it for what it is.